one, I wanted to come on here and share the latest message given to Cryptic One. This word was posted on June 3rd, 2020, and it's titled, The Man of Perdition is on the Scene. She says, I was glancing at the headlines from a YouTube video today posted by Grand Supreme News, and I caught my breath. It read, Obama to address nation, live on George Floyd, death, 2 p.m. PST. In my spirit, I then heard the word in Beagle, and the man of perdition is on the scene. In Beagle, persuade someone to do something by means of deception or flattery. Gain entrance to a place by persuading someone with deception or flattery. And the word begins. Daughter, the hour of the end is approaching. The man who will rise and fall, as will the nation of America, is making an entrance. He has been hidden, working behind the scenes, calling the shots. In truth, he never really left the office of president. After your king falls, the man of sin will move in stealthily to take his place. The stage is set. The actors have practiced their lines. The play is about to begin. Children, are you ready to rise up and take a stand against what is coming upon your earth? Even now the revolts are rising and the government is not able to totally squelch the unrest. Who has called upon me, the mighty one to intercede? Who has called upon me to the highest heaven to bring my hand of judgment down upon this rebellious people? I have been forgotten in all the chaos and confusion, but I will not be forgotten much longer. For when the pressure increases, you will call upon my name. Do not wait for that hour. Call upon me now. Many of you need to bend your knees to my authority and power. I alone can stem the tide of rebellion against your nation, America. Call upon me. Do not wait for the right moment. For the moment, the right moment is now. Soon events will spiral downwards all around you and you will not even have time to catch your breath. There will be calamity after calamity, judgment after judgment. You will feel unindated from all sides. I am the only way, your only hope, your one true salvation. Call upon my name during this dark hour and I will hear you. I will intercede on your behalf if you call out to me. Cry out to me with every ounce of faith and hope that you have. For no one else can save you. A president cannot save you. The man of perdition cannot save you. Your pastors cannot save you. In fact, judgment is looming for my church very soon. Turn to me now. Bow your knees and her hearts. And weep before me, for I am a just judge, and I hear the cries of the oppressed. Do not wait for the right moment. Many of you are not even promised tomorrow. Avail yourselves of my mercy now. Call upon me while it is still daylight. My children, the darkness is descending upon your earth, surely. Yet many do not know what time it is. Arise, O army of God, and take your place in the world to combat the evil on the evil of the day. I will be with you. I will be by your side. I will shelter and hide you under the shadow of my mighty wings. I am yours. Your faithful beloved Savior Yeshua, he who saves. I come soon, my children, upon the clouds of glory. Amen, amen, amen. Scripture reference given is 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 3. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. Proverbs chapter 17, verse 11. An evil man seeks only rebellion, therefore a cruel messenger will be sent against him. And that is the end of the message. I love you all, and I pray that you all have a blessed day.